Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we ran a few side quests over back at the city of Numara. And uh, we also headed over to the newly opened shop on Canal Street. Just beneath the bridge. So that we can stock up on our uh, ring assembly components. Because here soon we're going to be able to craft level 3 rings. So with that out of the way, we're at the port of Numara. And that right there in front of us is the White Boa. That's a huge ship. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, head north. And then head over to the west to talk to the two guys by the closed gate. Talk to the guard on the east side. And he'll open up the gate for you. Now go ahead and head north. And then head over to the east to enter the double doors. You should now be in the terminal building. Now go ahead and head over to the east side of the building and check these two lockers. And behind one of the lockers you should get a key item seed. Only four more to go and we'll have all 99 seeds of the game. Let's go ahead and head up the stairs and talk to the guy at the north of the room, Yasu Yusu. <laughs> and he'll ask if you want to board the ship. Choose yes. And we now have a badass, humongous ship. The Titanic. Nope, the White Boa. And you will be in control of Jansen on the White Bola, Boa in the Pilot House area. And take note of the surroundings. In the southwest corner is a Pippet. He's pretty hard to see, but once you spot him, he'll be very excited because he wants that smooth seed we got earlier. So go ahead and give it to him and he'll give you the puffy seed so we can't do nothing with that puffy seed for now but we will be able to later later very soon but for now go ahead and take note of the ring maker he has level three rings and we're about to get down to business but for now, let's wait till our party members get back in the party. To the north, there's a healing point and a save point. So this is going to be your new base of commands. But for now, go ahead and take the east exit and get on the elevator. And you have a few options to choose from, but for now, we're going to go to the engine room. Alright, once here, go ahead and talk to the guard just to the uh, east. The clean, loving crewman Kelenoth. <laughs> and 
and talking to him you'll get some treasure hunt information and this reads that something is hitting around the waters where Kent once stood after that jump back on the elevator and go ahead and choose the main deck and here go ahead and head a bit south and then east to find Ming at the very end of the main deck walk up to her for a scene what Gongoro might be planning. For him to remain in this world for his own selfish ends. Not about him. About you. Don't you want to stay and save Namara? Something else to stay for, too. to this, you know, getting serious like this, and, well, I, I mean, you, see, you're queen, uh, you've got a castle, it's, you know, own your own country, you know, I, 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 I'm serious when I fall in love, I mean, you know, I don't play around like that, I mean, I, mean, I know I am good looking, and kind of irresistible, I, I, but, but, but see, I never thought you'd get serious about me, and, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I mean, you being immortal, and I'm just, you know, just a regular guy, uh, you know, good sense of humor, you know, but I, you, the you, I don't know what to say, <laughs> help me. So queens shouldn't fall in love.
Okay. I know you're there. <laughs> Kids. Uh. <laughs> so after the scene, go ahead and head to the east to find Cook and Mac eavesdropping. <laughs> she likes you. You two little snoops. That's sweet. <laughs> He's blushing. You're so cute. Ow, what are you, Seth's sister? Uh, Aunt Ming, this is the guy for you? He's the only one for me. So after the uh, so after the scenes, you will now have a new ship, the White Boa. So now this is awesome because this is pretty much your new base of operations. You can store the Nautilus inside of it at any time. So you now have a big ship that can break through uh, ice and reach new areas. And we have an upgraded Nautilus because we took the engine off the slant nose and put it on the Nautilus. Which gives the Nautilus some new features. It can now fly in the air. Which is awesome. So at any time, go ahead and press RB to be taken back inside the white boa. And there's going to be a whole crap load of stuff we can get inside the white boa. So go ahead and press RB to return there now. And we're going to get everything we can on the inside of the white boa. 
Also, you're going to want to take note that at the pilot house, we now have a item seller. <clears throat> which gives us all of our items right here. And some awesome ring assembly components. So you're going to want to go ahead and stock up on some items ring assembly items and once you got that <laughs> we're going to be making some really powerful rings but before we do that let's go ahead and get some items on the white boa so go ahead and head back to the elevator, choose the engine area again. Once at the engine area, go ahead and talk to this guy if you haven't already to get some treasure hunt information. And once you got that, go ahead and exit to the east and climb the ladder where we made the shortcut way earlier back on disc uh, one or two. And we're going to head all the way back to those cells that we were incarcerated in the very first time we were on the white boa. So go ahead and make your way over to the brig and enter the first cell that you come to on the right and inside you should find a chest and in this inside this chest you will have a seed only three more seeds to go once you've got the seed out of the brig Go ahead and make your way back around to the elevator. And this time, go ahead and take it to the guest area of the ship. Now at the guest area, you're going to go ahead and talk to the lone crewman by the pond, who's called the Pond Watching Crewman Catasith. He's on the west side. And talking to him will give you some more treasure hunt information. And this reads some materials left on the deck of the white boa are now missing. So with that we can now check out the side uh, rooms in this area. So go ahead and enter the southwest door of the guest area. Which is the cabin. Where we'll find two pots. The first one contains a goddess medicine. And the second one contains four flower of suspicions. With that taken care of, exit the room and take the northwest door. Here you'll find Sarah. But there's nothing really of interest here besides a bed if you want to rest. Then go ahead and enter the northeast door.
to find a chest that we can open for two dark demon notes after the chest is looted exit the area and check out the final door to the southeast and this is a cabin but there's nothing of interest here either so with that taken care of go ahead and head to the south and board the elevator and go ahead and head over to the main deck head south and then east over to the main deck area and a little bit to the northwest you should see a glowing orange dot on your mini mat this marks the treasure hunt information so walk over to it and press A to examine to find the item three star absorbers Once you got that, go ahead and head back to the elevator and choose to go to the guest area one more time. We forgot some stuff that we got to get over there. Go ahead and head over to the northern area and notice there is a cubic magician here so if you missed any of the cubic musical scores and you need to play them to get the items you can do that right here on the white boa but we've already played everything so the next thing we're going to do is enter the door to the north So once inside this room, go ahead and head north to find Ming next to her harp. Walk up to her for a scene. <clears throat> and you should obtain the key, I key item Ming's harp. Now what this does is it lets you, next time you go to Namara at all, you can play the key item Ming's Heart to summon the Holy Beast. So if you want, you can take care of that now, but we got a few more things I want to do before we do that. Now with that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and head back to the pilot house to uh, assemble some pretty good level 3 rings. Well, the best level 3 rings I should say. And as long as you had gotten the correct ring assembly components, you should now be able to craft the level 3 rings. And if you didn't, don't worry because the new item seller right here will allow you to buy the right components that you need. So this is how you're going to want to do it. Go ahead and choose level 3 rings. And the first one I want to craft is the greed ring. So the effect of the greed ring is damage up level 3, critical up level 3, and HP absorb level 3. So in order to craft that, we need a Demolition Ring, a Fury Ring, and a Soul Sucker Ring. So let's go ahead and assemble them real quick. 
crusher ring. Now we have our demolition ring. We have our soul sucker ring. And now we need a fury ring. Alright, so now that we have our correct rings, we can choose level 3 and make the greed ring which is my personal favorite ring so let's go ahead and equip that onto Kaim as soon as possible an awesome 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 ring now I'm gonna go ahead and um, craft one of each rings I want to go ahead and make one of the sun ring, one comet ring, one atmosphere ring, and one meteorite ring. So we need a volcano ring, demolition ring, and fury ring. So let's just go ahead and make a few uh, different demolition rings and fury rings so that we can craft uh, See, we need guardian ore. So I'm going to make three of them. Now we have two demolition rings. Now we need to make a few fury rings. And we need living brasses. Let's see here. We need living brasses and we need Demolit and we need adamantine ores. So let's see if this guy is selling any of that. And unfortunately, he's not. <laughs> but fortunate for us, we can make the. Hmm. I want to make the. I want to make the sun ring. And equip that onto Seth. So I'm going to go ahead and craft a volcano ring so that we can now craft the sun ring which is fire level 3 damage up level 3 and HP up level 3 so once we have that let's go ahead and equip that onto Seth Now our two main attackers have some awesome rings.
And we can go ahead and equip that demolition ring onto said. Just because uh, we're not really going to use it right now because we need a few more items. We need guardian ore and adamantine ore to continue making our the rest of our level 3 rings. So now that we have that taken care of, we have the white bow looted of items and we have some very awesome level 3 rings. I'm going to go ahead and head over to the save point at the pilot house area and save my game. And that is going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. So I'll see you guys next time where we head up to the world map and explore the world in our new white boa and see what kind of destinations we can unlock. So I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey.